Welcome back to the Franchise Ain't Dead podcast, the only podcast that I can think of, believe me, I've searched, that is dedicated to franchise and dynasty modes. I'll also touch on career modes as they come out. The Road to Glory reveal will be out, I believe, this coming Friday. As a matter of fact, you will probably be seeing three straight uh, of podcast episodes as this one is going to be about team builder we have been told that it is supposed to come out this summer now obviously summer ends in late september but obviously this game comes out in the recording this is uh, july 9th game is supposed to at least the 15th and uh, be out for i guess normal consumption the 19th that was the first of my nine questions when it comes to this when is this thing dropping i would think at the very worst this is coming out on the weekend i speculate as the weekend just because i'm thinking ea would want to stress the servers and get an idea of how many people are interested in team builder alone let alone how many people they may have to deal with going online as we don't get a beta or a demo or anything like that. So this might be the only way they do that. There also is the distinct possibility that the team builder site is just not ready. <sighs> you told us this two months ago that, hey, it's gonna be ready for the summer. I understand issues happen, but like, I'm sure y'all got plenty of money in the budget to really pay up for some people to get this thing up and running so people have their stuff already ready to go when the game is ready to download i believe on the 13th for pre-download then you know we're ready to rock on the 15th or 16th for whatever you actually choose to get the game next couple of questions involve the stadiums themselves i'll be honest with you i have played most if not every ncaa football game but I've never touched Team Builder. So if I'm just ignorant to the fact that I never touched it, and this is something that you may know the answer to, let me know. Then again, the Team Builder aspect might be something different in this iteration of EA College Football 25. Can we upgrade if we move into conferences without recreating the team? And I only ask that because I have done a little bit of research as far as how the old team builder was, where you're basically getting either one of the existing real life stadiums for one of the other teams, or at the time, I believe, when team builder was around, I believe from 11 through 14, you had like three generics that you could tinker with in some shape or form. I couldn't find a video in which uh, anybody was really creating their stadium now i am used to looking at stadium creator in mlb the show from 21 to now i don't really touch it because there are aspects of that that i want to see improved but that's for a much later episode i'll get back to talking about mlb the show probably closer to uh, the postseason see like to mix things up when it comes to the podcast here and there it wouldn't make sense to bring on a team into team builder and then say you're moving from the sun belt to one of the big power conferences and you know that they are going to uh, have a minimum or floor of how many stadium seats they want because you know you got to show it on tv you got to show that we got the money and to attract those uh big time recruits if i'm playing in a 10,000 capacity stadium and i move up like uh, can we add you know different tiers to the stadium and add more people can we just re-upload a new stadium into it and then hey it's like we did a renovation i know that unlike in stadium created and mlb the show you can just change things as you need to you know you can add more seats though let's be honest the capacity of a stadium doesn't really matter in franchise all that much but it's another another day for another story when we jump into these stadiums can we add our own logos to it can we play some ring of fame like a lot of football teams in the nfl do you know they'll have some retired numbers up there again i i don't expect this to be some kind of like MLB the show style stadium creator but can we at least put our logo you know on obviously it's going to be on the field but it's the stuff around the stadium you know put it on a scoreboard anywhere just just some some more flair some along the sidelines and the, the back end zone walls can we you know slap a logo or two or three there just so again it looks like we own the stadium and not like we just finished renting it the final question about stadiums kind of involves the crowd because in EA25, they have stated that there will be specific crowd traditions 
are our team builder teams going to be able to get that same respect? I feel like that should be the case. Even if it's just, hey, take a team that wears blue and gold. Hey, this is a blue, this is a blue out game. Hey, this is a, a gold out game. Hey, we split in the crowd, you know, things like that. So that again, we don't feel like we are visitors in this universe. We are a huge part of the universe of college football. In some of the research, I did notice that when it came to rosters for said teams in Team Builder, they have presets. I don't like the fact that they were presets for the entire roster. I'd like maybe a split a cupcake offense and a juggernaut defense or vice versa or any one of the, any one of the number of different roster types so that, again, we're not going into there with whatever random players y'all throw you know, onto our roster because as you know when you get into ea college football 25 they've stated any real players cannot be uh, created any real players anybody that has signed to be into the game or is on a roster as the rosters are only 85 players in game though in real college football they are way bigger than that um, when i was at my alma mater, SUNY Cortland, I believe our roster might have been about 115. It might have been a little, yeah, about 115, and I'd say maybe 80 dressed. So there'd be a lot of dudes on the sideline with no actual pads on. And if they had to swap out with somebody, they were wearing their number. There were no names on the back. As we are jumping into this with a fresh team, we should be able to just completely have a roster of whatever names we want, so long as they don't coincide with anybody who is an eligible uh, FBS player, which they have parameters to prevent that. Um, I know you can't change things like the jersey number, which I think is a little silly. If they're not a real player, we should be able to edit them however we need to. The exception being really only names so that they, even if the names are common, like a John Smith, there's a John Smith that plays in Minnesota and they never signed but being a game. We can't have a John Smith anywhere throughout the entire universe in the 30 years or even if you go into another dynasty. Being as dynasty mode, pretty much is focusing on the coaches i really want to know can we do any kind of editing on the coaches the other two coaches that you will have to have on staff if i come in as the head coach can i at least at the very worst edit names because we know the real coaches are not in the game so can i can i at least edit the names so that i at least have let's be honest Doing a SUNY Cortland Red Dragons Dynasty, moving up from D3 to D1. And if you haven't already seen the video, I will be coming in as the defensive coordinator. The current real life head coach, I want to create him and have him head coach. The offensive coordinator, I may go along the lines of just having it be someone else. It, it, it's not a big deal, but I just want to know if there's any way we can at least shape their appearance, their name, so that we at least have that. I know most people are just gonna have fictional coaches, which is fine, it's whatever, or whatever guys they may pick up off the scrap heap. You know, I just want some clarity on that. I believe this may have already been leaked for any dynasty, a deep dive, but if I'm a coordinator of one side of the ball, can I only play that one side of the ball and allow the CPU to run the other side? Am I gonna have to go into the pause menu, go to controller select, move to the middle on offense, let the offense do their thing, and then say we turn the ball over, I gotta pause and go back into it and you know play the defensive snaps. That's probably the most realistically practical way to do it as opposed to them allowing any way to where, again, I play the defense and on offense, just have the CPU take over. If I'm not mistaken, I did read as this question has already been answered at this point. If we are a coordinator, we also control the other side of the ball. I have a feeling the way I'm going to handle that is simply ask Corso or ask coach for offensive plays. And on defense, I run everything, at least until either a I get fired from my alma mater, which wouldn't be the first time I got kicked out of there. You know, I just want something somewhere I don't to control the offense and if i end up becoming the head coach at said school or again if i get fired maybe i do you know i just move on from from there finally something i really don't care that much about but i know is a big thing in college 
football jerseys. Simply put, I have messed with MLB The Show's uh, rebrand far too many times to realize that just don't get enough alternates. Let's be honest. When it comes to MLB The Show themselves, you get your home, you make your home, you make your away jersey. There are no alternates. You can't go back to the original team's uniforms as an option at all, which I think is just a little ridiculous as there are plenty of teams in MLB that have moved from place to place, changed their jerseys. The Braves, they moved from Milwaukee. Oh, hell, they moved from Boston to Milwaukee, to from Milwaukee to Atlanta. There are different jerseys for said eras, at least from Milwaukee to Atlanta. I know because of the, the City Connects kind of look like the Hank Aaron era Braves jerseys. But a team like Oregon is, is well documented. will run through a different uniform set for every game for an entire year, for two years, for three years. Like, they're like fashionistas when it comes to this. And I get it. Nike funds, all of that. And, it, you know, it is what it is. But how much flexibility, how much freedom do we have with our own teams? I don't think in my seven years at Sudi Portland, I ever saw us wear a black and red uniform. I know there's obviously the red and white, the white and red. Maybe there might have been a gray one at one point, I think after I had already graduated, but we need at least, and I mean the bare minimum, four jersey uniform sets. Minimum four. Uh, I would love to take six or eight. That'd be even better. But as the first iteration, we need at least four. We can't just have one alternate. That's lame. Next podcast, talking about EA College Football 25, we'll be touching on the case for playing with a contending team a championship contending team why you should go with it as opposed to always choosing to go with the rebuild route there are so many teams you could quote unquote rebuild they have never really seen any true glory or it's been a very long time since they've seen glory how about just just tune into the next episode of the franchise and dead podcast you are, it seems, a man of many skills, a rare combination.